he's just, this is Quiggle, he's just um, a sweet boy. I'm going to quickly tell you his story. We brought him over from Italy. Um, he was four months old because of the import rules. And we also brought over a brother for another breeder. Uh, there was a funny issue of the uh, mixed up at birth kind of scenario. <laughs> His official AKC name is Questori. And there is another Quigley out there who is called Questori because these two boys, their papers got mixed up. Um, but he will not be AKC registered when you get him because uh, you can... You can have his paperwork, of course, but he has been neutered. We had his dew claws removed and had him neutered. And so he's not a breeding dog. He's being sold as a pet. sweet boy for a pet and companion dog. So if you get Quigley and later you see somebody else has a dog called Quigley, just be aware that officially his name is Questori. <laughs> There we go. So that's our Quigley boy. He's a beautiful Italian with a nice long nose and just a sweet guy. He is just over one year old. I believe right now he's about 14 months. This is Quigley. We've just started him on a little bit of training to make sure when we send him out he's decent on a leash and listening and paying attention. When we got Quigley, um, he was four months old because of the import restrictions. So with four months old and not a whole lot of interaction, we spent our first several months with him just loving on him and not expecting him to do much of anything. You can see now he's sitting when she tells him he's walking on a nice leash. But uh, the point of my story is we were trying to just get um, him less sensitive. He, he was a little bit disconnected and he is a very sensitive boy. He doesn't do well with a lot of harsh uh, negative training. He does really well with positive reinforcement. That's not to say you can't tell him not to do something, but we, you know, we're pretty uh, gentle with him because he has a very gentle nature. Good dog. Wherever you feel comfortable taking him, mostly we're just trying to see him behaving and walking on a leash. And Don't go behind the car because I'm trying not to move too much. Can you bring him back up here where he's not in the bees and have him lay down for me? You see, he's doing a very good job of keeping pace with whatever Michelle's asking him to do, fast or slow. Do you want him laying down? Let's bring him over here so I can get him really well in the frame. Concentrate on Quigley, not too close to me so I can get the whole dog. <laughs> Sorry. A little maintenance there. <laughs> okay, to stop him from that and just ask him. Now, when we got Quigley, we were doing a whole lot of um, loving on him and belly rubs, and so that is how he immediately goes to belly rub stance and we try and get him now to do more of just lay down normally and not always expect belly rubs but again with his surgery we've been um giving him more more sweet time I'm sorry we spoiled him a little bit he also his uh, coat is exceptional we never really do much with Quigley's coat um I run a stripping brush down the center of his back line and a little bit around his tail uh, when he first starts shedding. But aside from that, this is pretty much Quigley's natural coat. Um, the eyebrows, that's the length they are. We don't trim them. I do occasionally trim a little off his beard. Um, uh, 
right now he looks a little funny because they had to shave his back legs to do his um, surgery on his dew claws. So you can see the fuzziness on his front legs is more how his back legs would normally look when they're all grown out. <laughs> hey, Quiggle. He's just a really sweet guy. He is a good-sized dog. Um, he does eat three cups of dog food in the morning and in the evening. Um, and he's pretty happy to have he treats whenever you out, give them. Rolls <laughs> over and fully stretches. Stretches all this way. <laughs> you can take up some space. He's a, yeah, he's kind of a big guy. But he also started smiling this week, I noticed, when we were giving him belly rubs. He was smiling, which was kind of cute. But yeah, like I said, his back end looks a little light because they shaved so much of him when they did the surgery. That will grow back, I promise. <laughs> But like I said, you know, he's a, a really sweet guy. We've given him some basic obedience training. And I realized today, um, I thought, gee, we haven't given Quigley enough training. And then I realized today when I was putting dishes away and he was following me back and forth, just living with us, he gets training. He was not sticking his nose in the dishwasher. Um, Quigley, I think I told you, loves cloth. So we always give him little rags to play with. Toss a rag at me. Oh, sure. I have one in my pocket. Hold on. I'll see if I can do this without. There we go. We just have these little inexpensive Terry rags. <laughs> and they're like his favorite toy. Come here, yeah. But, um, interestingly, this last two weeks we've been working with him not taking the dish towels and okay to have your rags but not my rags so really all we do now is hang dish towels up and say mine and he leaves them alone um, that's not something we get to do when we have puppies in the house <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He can get a little drooly when he stresses. Um, some Spinoni are very drooly. Some Spinoni are, get only a little drooly. When, oh, he still pees like a girl, which is lovely. <laughs> That's a good reason to stop for a minute. Um, but a lot of them do grow out of that to some degree. He's, uh, his thing seems to be more when he's really excited or really stressed.